<laughs> Just uh, thought I'd give you a second. No barking. Let's try that again. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a second to see my beautiful new background. I just basically took the mirror off this desk back here because I did not like how it reflected in the camera every time. Like you could just see my light boxes. We took that off and I put some like little tids and bits and bobs up there. Oh, other side, it's reverse in the monitor right here. So made it look kind of cute. I thought it'd be cool to kind of film in different areas of my house. The sad part is that my house doesn't have very good natural lighting when I, whenever I film. It's only kind of like in the morning and even then it's not that great. Hopefully when we move, we'll have a better like lighting situation. She is what she is. Today we're gonna be talking about um, skincare because I have not done an updated skincare like items I'm loving right now video. So I thought that I would put together some of my favorite items. And what I did was I, I like categorized it out. So it was like, basically if you have a full face of makeup, like the steps I take like through the evening out. And I didn't do a morning one. I feel like that needs to be kind of a separate video or this video would literally be like 12 hours long and you guys be like, girl, I already drank my whole six pack of Corona. Like how long are you gonna keep talking? What I did was I sectioned it out in categories and I actually put, um, I chose like one item from each category to talk about in this video, but I actually had doubles of stuff like in different cat in the different categories that I put over on my blog and I'm listing out the reasons why I love the items and why I think you guys would love them. So that'll be over on the blog and I'm trying to basically, I'm not trying, I'm going to breathe some life into my blog. You guys are gonna see that a lot more updated and I already put up my holiday shop there. So there, like if you head to my website, which is linked in my bio, down below there is a um, little top bar and it says um, holiday shop. So if you guys click holiday shop, it'll show you all of these like really cool, fun items that I chose to go on there that I thought that you guys would like because I really like them. As I said, I chose an item from each category basically and then there are more of the, and this doesn't mean these are my favorite out of the two that I chose, I just grabbed one. But like I said, over on the blog, I've linked out uh, and categorized all of my favorite products that I've been using right now because I get sent so, like some, some of you were like, oh, I thought you liked NXN, why are you using this now? We're doing an Instagram video on it. Well, part of my job is to try out new products and see what I think about them and then share them with you guys and tell you what I think is great and what I think you might like based on what I like. I get sent so much skincare and I buy a lot of skincare and so I don't really ever stick to one like regimen or like one thing, like maybe one day I'll use all one brand in that line and then the next day I switch it up. So what I tend to do is just keep the products that I know work really well for me that I really like and then I just alternate them. I use all of the different ones throughout the week. I don't know if that really makes a difference or not. Of course, companies that sell you these products tell you that because they want you to buy their entire line because then they make more money. Maybe they actually work better together. I don't really know. Do you know? I, I don't know if there's any science behind that. First things first, we're gonna start with, so if I have a full face of makeup on, there are two ways I like to remove my makeup. I will basically like a makeup melter or I will use a cleanser. And this really depends on if I'm getting in the shower or if I'm at the sink washing my face. If I'm at the sink washing my face, I will use a makeup melter because I can just scoop it out, put it on my hands and it melts into my hands real good. And then I just like wipe my makeup off and like it just feels amazing. And then you rinse it and it comes off super, super well. But if I'm in the shower, I tend to like hold my hand out and see if the water's like, I'm like, mm, yep, yeah, that feels good. I'm, I'm gonna get in now. And then my hands are wet and you can't use a makeup melter really when your hands are already wet they need to be like dry i brought two out to show you for each of those one of these is it cosmetics bye bye makeup it comes in this uh this is a three-in-one makeup melting cleansing balm it smells really good it comes in this like a shortening kind of consistency or like coconut oil kind of and by the way actually coconut oil if you have coconut oil but don't have something like this try a scoop of coconut oil for yourself and try that on your face and see they're probably pretty similar but I absolutely love this one by It Cosmetics. This goes with me everywhere. I have a small little one that I take with me and I absolutely love this one. It like leaves my skin feeling super soft and it breaks up the makeup super, super, super well. Some of you might know what I'm about to talk about next because I have been using this 
since I was about 16 years old and worked at the front desk at a salon. <laughs> I bought this stuff and I couldn't even afford it, but I got a discount for my job, so you know. This is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I was so excited when I got my first PR package from Dermalogica and they reached out because this like goes way back for me. Like I have used Dermalogica for so, so long and it's such a good quality product that I was just like, I can't, like what is life right now? Like I'm, getting sent free Dermalogica right now when I used to spend like all of my paychecks on all this skincare because my skin would break out and it just like wasn't the best and this helped it. Like this was the start of my skincare, my skin and my skincare routine getting better. I got a little mini one, it was so cute. Dermalogica sent me like a giant pump bottle of this and then like this little mini one to travel with. So super grateful to them for sending me these. These are great if you have problematic skin. I, I, I should have started with what kind of skin I actually have. I have kind of like, like right now my skin's a little dry because I was just in Mexico. So it is like trying to recover from all the sun and everything, even though I had sunscreen on, so it's peeling a little bit. Typically I have like a combo skin, like it's pretty just smack dab right in the middle, depending on the time of year though, it can change a little bit. So keep that in mind when I'm talking about the products that I use. Um, they might, be universal and work for everybody or they may not. Anyways, this is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel and this thing will remove your makeup like none other. Next, what I do when I, so whether I'm in the shower or washing my face at the sink, I always will have leftover remnants of makeup along my hairline or like mascara and all that stuff. So one that I've really been loving, um, I've been loving the Ofra Too Faze makeup remover. It's kind of cool. Like as I've used product, this like moves up, which I really like that you can see the product. I just put this on a little cotton pad and it works like super, super, super well for removing the makeup. I also use this to remove any liquid lipstick that's still hanging on. And uh, for the makeup around the edges of my face, I sometimes use this, but I don't typically use it since it's got a bit of oil in it. I will use what I'm gonna talk about now. Next. This is the old Heinrichsen, Henrix Heinrichsen, am I saying that? I don't even know. Am I saying that right? Does anybody know? I don't know. Um, it's the Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. So I like to use toner whether I was wearing makeup that day or not. And I'll go straight, if I wasn't wearing makeup, I'll go straight in with a toner on a cotton pad and just get the, you know, like my entire face around my nose rings really well and down my neck. And I'll do the same thing after I wash my face because inevitably there is still remnants of makeup around the hairline especially and just like on my face in general. Like no matter what skincare cleanser you use, there's typically always gonna be traces of makeup somewhere that you missed. This one works really well. This helps control oil. I don't really have too much of an oil problem, but it's a nice hydrator, like, like a nice hydrating toner. And I find that this one, I was using another toner and I actually switched over to this one because I noticed that the cotton pads were dirtier when I used this one. So meaning it was removing a lot more makeup and I don't stop using this until the cotton pads are clean, 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 clean. When I first do it, they're usually like brown and they get less brown and less brown and less brown. And this is how you get rid of the rest of the makeup. Next, I would use a mask. If I was going to use a mask, I would use that after the toner typically. So I'm gonna talk about a mask today that I've talked about before. I swear by this mask. I have like large pores and Every now and then I use this mask to help shrink my pores. I have noticed a serious difference between like before I was using this mask and now it definitely shrinks my pores. I can say it's like one of the only things that like I've used that has actually done something that I can know, like I can see a difference. It's pretty crazy, but this is the NXN Power Detox Clear Complexion Mask. This basically pulls out all the toxins all the gross radicals and all the nasty things in your pores and in your skin and sucks it out through the mask. And what, how long do you leave this on? Like five to 10 minutes. Um, you can use this one to two times per week. I kind of just use it as necessary. Like when I'm noticing that my pores are extra large, which they are right now, actually, I should probably do this today. Um, I will use this guy and I will definitely notice a significant difference. One of the cool things about NXN Beauty is that, like if you, this is for oily combination skin, but they have different like kits that they deliver to you monthly and you can choose whatever you want for your skin type. Like if you have oily skin, you can choose the kit for oily skin. If you have problematic acne, acne prone skin, you can use that one, it's pretty cool. Next, I go into my serums and like my oils and stuff like that. And typically I literally 
put on like two serums a night, even though I should probably just put on one, but I just let it soak into my skin. One of the ones I've been really loving lately is Murad Revite Elixir Recovery Serum. I opened this PR package and, oh, it's nice and cold, it's hot in my studio. It's like glass. Um, the packaging is really cool. So like it bursts these like little bubbles. Not only does this work really well, but it like, it smells divine. Like I wanna eat it. Like it smells, my makeup's like all over this now. <laughs> So this um, brightens your skin and smooths fine lines and wrinkles. And I've been using this now for about a month and a half, I would say. And I've really liked the way that my skin's looking lately. So I've definitely noticed a difference. Um, but Murad's also a really great brand. Their ingredients are awesome. And I've just always really liked their products and I've used them for the past few years. But I'm really liking this one. This one's pretty new. This next one is also by Dermalogica. This is a kind of a more recent product as well. This is um, Sound Sleep Cocoon Transformative Night Gel Cream. And it's in this interesting little package and it turns and clicks open. I'm gonna read the back of this because there's just a lot on here. Basically, you smooth this over your face and your neck. It's the last step in your nighttime regimen. Um, I don't always put this on last, but I probably should. Sometimes I'll use it like a moisturizer so then it does go on last. It's got all these crazy ingredients in it, like crazy good, not crazy weird. Provides a visibly radiant skin by morning, tamarind seed, cushion skin, uh, and a nourishing cocoon. This is a lot of words, okay? This is very hard right now on a Sunday afternoon. Creating a nourishing cocoon of comfort for softer, more hydrated skin. Um, it helps brighten your skin tone, encapsulated motion activated French lavender essential oil, along with calming sandalwood and patchouli, soothes the senses for with aromatherapy to help promote deep, restful sleep for healthier looking skin. So the idea behind this is that you're going to be smelling all the delicious uh, essential oils and like smoothing that over your neck and your chest and breathing that and it's gonna promote healthy sleep and it also helps brighten your skin and helps your skin look better by helping you rest better. This smells amazing. I really love the idea of putting essential oils into skincare because I am an essential oil nut. I have like a diffuser almost in every room in my house. I have the amount of oils that I have is like, it's like kind of embarrassing, but I'm also really proud of it. So, <laughs> um, so I really like this one. So I use that one as my moisturizer typically or a serum if I'm not gonna put a serum on that night. It really just depends how lazy I am when I go to sleep. But one of the other things that I'll use for a moisturizer, oh, you know what I also forgot to say? Um, I wanted to tell you guys, like I'm sure you guys already know this, but one thing you can't fix with plastic surgery is your hands, your chest, and your neck. So one of the things that I will always do is I will always put these serums for wrinkles and stuff like that on my hands and up to about here on my arm and my fingers. And I'll also put it all the way down my neck and on my chest because when I sleep, I sleep on my side and I get those little wrinkles right here. So I always smooth all of that over my chest. I think that you're actually a note that your skin care, like your skin care needs to go on your hands and your neck and your chest as well because all of these need to be protected as well and as women our hands and our neck and our chest are one of the first signs of aging like you can tell how old a woman is no matter what she does to her face by like her neck and her chest and her hands and stuff so skincare is super super important i will like smear all the expensive creams like all over my hands and my chest um, and I suggest you do the same. I think it's um, a good step and you definitely don't want to miss it. Next what I'll use, I, so I kind of check out like two moisturizers, I guess. This is another moisturizer that I like to use. This is the um, Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I love this facial oil. It soaks into the skin really nicely. It doesn't feel too greasy. Once again, this is something I'll put all over my face. I'll pat it into my face, my neck, my hands, my arms and my chest. So there's no greasy residue with this, but it does do a really great job at hydrating because it soaks into the skin really, really well. Two items left. Can you guys guess what it might be? This is the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. This helps combat fine lines and wrinkles. And this is actually a brand new jar. You might be saying like, you haven't even used that. This is like my second or third jar. So this is a brand new product, but I will take my ring fingers and just pat my eye cream in and a secret for eye cream. I like to use it up here too, but I will also put it in my frown lines and my smile lines um, as well as underneath my eyes because even though it's an eye serum, it's for wrinkles and all of that. 
and I have wrinkles there and I get wrinkles here, so why not? It should go there too, right? This other thing, so this is a product from Dermalogica that I didn't even think existed, which is why I've always used my eye cream around my lip area and the marionette lines. But this is the uh, Dermalogica Nightly Lip Treatment and you might be asking yourself, okay, what the heck is a lip treatment? Is that like a lip mask? No, it's not actually meant to go like on your lips. So what it does is, you know how when you see some older ladies, they have their like lipstick has like bled up into their wrinkles around their lips. So this is a very preventative product, but if you already have that, you can use it too. So it says firm hydrate and restore the lip in periori, pure, pure, perioral, perioral. How am I saying that? I've never said that word in my life. Region with this rich overnight treatment. Reinforces skin barrier function and helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I like to take this and I put it on the marionette lines right here. Oh, it's cold too, it feels so good. And here, I just put some on my face, wonderful. And then I do around the lips and I just like smooth that in and let it soak in. But um, definitely a great preventative measure if you're young and you don't already have that. Prevent it, put it off. I love that stuff. That's it for this video, you guys. You can head over to my blog right now to check out all of the other skincare that I'm loving right now. Like I said, I didn't play favorites. I just grabbed from this uh, my collection that I've been really loving. So head over to my blog. The link is in the description box below, or if you don't wanna look there, it's kristinxleanne.com, and I will, I've made a blog post about all my favorite skincare right now. So um, no matter what your skin type, there's definitely something there for you. Check it out. Let me know if you tried any of these products. I'd love to hear what you guys think, and hopefully it'll inspire you to grab some new skincare that might do wonders for you because I absolutely love this stuff and I swear by it. So hopefully you will enjoy it too. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.